Hi, my name is Jerry Burke, and I own and operate Burke Printing Company in Rosenberg, Texas. I've been in business since 1986. Uh, we're right down the street from Holden Roofing and have been doing business with them for over 30 years together. Uh, Brett and I met about, oh, I don't know, close to 30 years ago. He came into the shop. The roof was not damaged from hail, it's just old. <laughs> so. Uh, the insurance wouldn't cover it, so Charlotte and I just decided that we would just do it and just pay for it ourselves. Didn't really have a lot of storm damage, uh, but he had a very old roof. My salesperson was Stephen. He came and uh, I called. I called Miles and he sent Stephen over. He said one, he's one of his best sales guys. He came over and him and another guy crawled up on the roof and walked around, took pictures, and they were, he came down and told me what they were going to do, communicated quite well with me, told me every little detail that they were going to do, all the stuff the way they do it, and uh, that they would ship the shingles and every, all the material would get here early, and they would come a, maybe a day or two later. Uh, Steve was real easy to work with, uh, did, in fact, the when they tore off the roof and saw how bad everything, my roof doesn't have uh, plywood decking. The uh, house had three roofs on it, so which was a lot more than what any of us expected. So it was a lot harder to tear off, and uh, so the cleanup was a lot m more intense because there was a lot more debris. Back in the old day, or when they didn't go to adhere to code. Uh, they would just layer over shingles. So your old shingles would wear and tear and they would come back and put another layer over that. Uh, and they did this two different times so he had three layers of shingles. The uh, decking was, in some places, was rotted. I mean the house is 60 years old so there were places where the the roofs were 60 years old sitting on top of the house. So the, the debris I mean, the decking was pretty much gone in some places. They had to replace a lot of the decking. The fascia board on the front of the house was rotted, and they sent a guy, Mario, over, and he replaced all of that, did a great job. Uh, and then on top of all that, he also had siding, which we do, um, and we had to get some siding and fascia board issues to fix him up. Wasn't part of the original contract, but took care of uh, Mr. Burt. Uh, he's been a great customer of ours and kind of went out of our way to make sure he was completely satisfied. All of us were very pleased with the look of it. It looks real good. Charlotte and I sometimes just sit in the backyard and look at our roof. And <laughs> he picked a, the duration of state gray and it really looks good on his roof. And then probably the funniest thing with Mr. Burke was when it came to color, he didn't get to decide, but Mrs. Burke did. So got to sit down with them, show them everything that we offer. Uh, got them the right kind of shingle and definitely the right kind of color. Uh, so yeah, it's, it was it turned out real good, and um, I would recommend Holden. And so a couple of my customers have come back, and I've told them who did the roof because they asked, and I told them, and told them that yeah, I would recommend it. I even told one of my roofer customers that Holden did a great job, and I was very pleased with the whole process. So. Yeah, and these, uh, all these machines have been in my family for generations. <laughs> so, not irreplaceable, just they're sentimental. You know, a lot of it was my dad's, and he's been gone for over 20 years. So, and uh, so they're kind of sentimental to me. This one especially is real sentimental to me. I think of him every time I run this press. So. He was, uh, he was a good guy. Uh, yes, Mr. Burke had kind of a unique situation and not only were we, you know, re-roofing his home, but he does all the printing for Holden Roofing and he had some old uh, sentimental printing presses that he was very concerned about. And had we not gotten the decking taken care of, those could have, uh, not just cost him monetarily, but sentimental as well. So uh, it was important that we get his roof right. 
So once the roof is done, crew's gone, we've done our final walkthrough, we come back and we give them a certificate of completion, gives them their date of installation, and then give them all their warranty work, uh, which whatever manufacturer they chose for their shingle, to make sure they get registered and they're under warranty from the manufacturer as well as our labor warranty. Uh, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to go over with them, but it, they're always thankful that once we do, it kind of gets everything out of the way. Our final inspection, we always try to get the homeowner to walk around the perimeter with us, both inside and outside, uh, address any questions, issues, or concerns they have. Um, and then we uh, personally, uh, I have a uh, bullet, che bullet checkpoint list of about 20 items that I'll go around the house, check for drip edge, flashing, make sure everything's sealed, primed, and painted correctly to match the roof. The entire scope of work that we address with the homeowners done correctly. And we also want to make sure there's no daylight or open holes in the roof, so we always double, triple check that.